Indie games development has proven to be one of the most creative outlets across digital mediums in recent years. These processes allow individuals to brainstorm and think of unique concepts while referencing popular ideas that have already been proven to work but add something new and different. These ideas and references are most notable within the survival horror genre of games. With the unusual ideas and creative aspects of indie horror games, many of these concepts are being adapted to other gaming genres to develop even more immersive and surreal experiences that were never considered before, which is quite intriguing and brings about an air of curiosity to understand and see if it is possible to combine elements of horror with other popular genres that are also seen in video games. This is quite an incredible feat with indie games development as it allows creators to expand on ideas never thought possible to reach beyond the limits of their ideas as they are not restricted by the mainstream factors or mediums to create concepts and prototypes of anything they can think of. So you might be thinking of how it is possible to combine horror elements with driving games and how it would work. On paper, many would think that it is simply not possible. But that is the beauty of indie games development, as it allows people that are passionate about games to experiment in new creative ways to combine elements from many different ideas and genres, even movies and more mainstream media, to produce unusual concepts that push and test the boundaries beyond what was thought possible. The only limiting factor is your imagination. In this video we will look at some examples of horror driving games so that you can get an idea and close up experience of how these games would actually look, feel and play. Many of these games are based on demos and prototypes built during game jam events or from dev teams testing out new ideas but many have real potential that proves the unlimited possibilities of games development. Some of the games seen in this video might even give you ideas to work on your own gaming concepts moving forward. Beware is a unique and visually impressive yet dark driving experience where you drive around barren wastelands, mountain countryside roads and dark forests while noticing that you are being followed by another car with an unknown number of assailants that are in constant pursuit to hunt you down and kill you. This is a very unique game that is dark and rich in atmosphere as you must rely on your own wits, ingenuity and driving skills to become aware of your surroundings to escape and survive. This game also proves that even on quiet roads, you are never truly alone. Burger and Frights is a low poly horror experience, seeing the role of a fast food store employee trying to find a way home late at night, while noticing that nothing is as it seems, and strange events start happening where you black out and always find yourself right back where you started. After each trip, you find that the world around you constantly changes and becomes even more terrifying, forcing you to survive for as long as you can you will start to question your sanity as to what is real or alive.
Call of the Cows is a unique horror experience where the player takes over the role of a self-driving cow dumped in a junkyard where you must find your way out while surviving the machinery and environments that seek to destroy you. You will have to navigate narrow paths and avoid many obstacles to evade the oncoming terror threat to survive. Cleaning Redfell is a very atmospheric and very unique style game that has you taken on the role of a bin man trash collector driving around the small town of Redville collecting rubbish and emptying bins while becoming aware of many unusual events that occur to later discover the real elements of what your job really entails. In Desolate Drive, you find yourself in an ominous world with only one goal, to destroy the towers. You also have to contend with avoiding many environmental hazards and weird alien looking style creatures that will try to stop you from achieving your goal. This position is a very short horror driving experience where you drive along country roads through abandoned villages while trying to avoid strange and hostile entities that are constantly chasing you down with your goal being to reach your destination at a signal as a loud red light beaming down from the sky as fast as you can.
Drive Time Radio sees you driving along a quiet highway late at night where you eventually receive a call on your phone from a mysterious number to realise that it is the radio station that you've just listened to in the car. You will be put through your paces as you will have to answer questions and depending on the answers will provide a different outcome where you will have to dodge obstacles and other environmental hazards that pop up but giving the right answers will allow you to prolong the inevitable and survive the endless horror that awaits you during the night. But if you get it wrong, then you are instantly doomed. But the truth is, can you survive? Or have you already been doomed from the start? Let's get our next contestant on the line and kick things off. Keep going. Okay, well, if you say so. Driver's Late Nightmare is a short, low-poly horror driving experience. Seeing you as the player being late while trying to find your way home only to realise that your car is low on fuel. So can you make it home before the fuel runs out? That's the big question. Driving home takes place on an unknown highway on your way home from working late only for your car to run out of gas so you have to find a way to acquire more fuel for your car to get home but your journey takes an unexpected turn when you find an abandoned house or what you think is abandoned only to discover a room filled with decimated human remains while realising that there is a serial killer on the loose so you manage to find some fuel and quickly make your way back to the car to get out of the area only to bear witness to the killer who has hidden himself inside as you drive. Driving Insanity sees you as a lone survivor desperately trying to escape a dark and desolate forest region while avoiding many hazards and the many zombies and monsters that roam around. But the question is, can you survive? In Fearlift, it's your last night shift as a forklift operator at a warehouse where you work. And as you begin your shift, you realise something is very, very wrong. Items are randomly falling off shelves or being misplaced. You have to investigate the reasons behind these events, while later discovering that demonic events are responsible for the occurrences and also the disappearances of other warehouse workers in recent times.
Ghost Lake is a low-poly driving adventure seeing you explore the wastelands of an old, abandoned and desolate town with no signs of life anywhere, where the only company you have is being surrounded by unknown spiritual beings and entities. So it is up to you to explore the region and to figure out the reasons behind these unusual events and occurrences. Glitch Hikers is an unusual driving game, seeing you endlessly driving on a highway while picking up and engaging in various conversations with lone hitchhikers, all while discovering many weird and unusual stories about their past lives and experiences. And depending on the choices you make and the answers of the questions that you explore will present many different avenues to the storyline's plot in the game. So can these hitchhikers be trusted? Only time will tell. Horror Driven, A Story for the Road, is a first person survival horror game set in a desolate radioactive zone where the player explores the world both on foot and with the use of a cow which also acts as a mobile base on your journey. Players are challenged with scavenging for resources while trying to keep your mental awareness in check to stop you from losing your mind while you try to piece together the truth about how everything around you turned into a nightmare. You also need to be mindful of your surroundings as the dark and desolate forests are haunted by unusual spiritual entities that are on the lookout for new victims, all while trying to escape the mindless forests and landscape to survive. In Midoa Esperta, you're driving on a dark and deserted road that is known to be haunted, all while avoiding dangerous hazards in the middle of the night while realising that there are many spirits and unknown entities trying to distract and kill you. You are equipped with a special UV torchlight and you must use it to dispel the spirits from trying to steer you off the road to your doom. Mm-hmm. 
Night Tiger sees you driving around eerie mountainscapes and desolate marshlands in the dark of night with very little light to guide your way as you journey to safety all while avoiding treacherous terrain and hazards along the way. Can you survive long enough to escape? Passengers, a dark yet eerie experience where you have to drop your friend home by driving through the atmospheric dark city streets at night, while unaware of unknown spirits and evil entities that will try to stop you from reaching your goal. The question is, are you able to reach your destination? Psycho Unstable Journey is a low poly horror driving game which sees you driving alone on a highway during a storm where you eventually need to stop to refuel your car while dealing with some unusual and very weird people. After leaving the gas station you end up in an accident after another car appears and crashes into you. You wake up dazed and confused in a dark forest where you must find a way back to the main road and find your car. Many unusual events occur eventually leading you to find the cow, but it is undamaged. You begin your journey into the early morning when the storm has passed, all while wondering what happened and how you are still alive, or are you? Rust Bucket Revenge is a truly terrifying experience where you are forced to run and evade a car that is in constant pursuit of you. You are out of breath and in constant fear of where the car will appear from next, which will require you to use your wits to survive the ordeal. This game almost reminds you of a nightmare or a bad dream where something terrifying is constantly in pursuit of you with no means of escape and will definitely have you running in fear.
Scary Car Driving Sim Horror is a mobile horror driving game requiring you to complete each level or area in the quickest time while avoiding monsters and evil spirits that are hunting you down. The game makes use of different features requiring you to turn on the lights of the vehicle to ward off spirits, but you also must keep them off when close to monsters so they become unaware of your presence due to the darkness. This game requires you to be tactful and mindful of your surroundings in order to avoid all of the entities in the game in order to survive. The parking lot is a short low poly horror experience. It's late and you make your way to an empty parking lot and apparently you don't remember where you parked your car. But when you start looking, weird and uneventful things start to happen. It becomes apparent quite quickly that something isn't right about the parking lot, which forces you to look for a way out while finding your car to escape. But can you survive? From this list of games you've just witnessed, many of them are mainly prototypes or unfinished demos of games that were created either from game jam events or individual creative concepts. Many of these games will never be finished or even released, but there are a few that have some real potential that could be developed further to create even more intense and terrifying experiences. Yet many of these unfinished games clearly demonstrate the potential of unique ideas while providing that the concepts for games are virtually limitless. It will be interesting to see if any future progress will be made with these titles. And thanks to online digital platforms such as HIO, Steam, GoodOldGames.com and GameJolt, etc. We as players can now get a taste of these unique ideas and experience them for ourselves. These unique elements show that indie horror is real and that it is becoming more popular than ever and it is only a matter of time before we begin to see some truly epic games that will change the direction of the games industry forever. But these unique ideas are currently just a small footprint in the realm of indie horror video games and to get an idea of even more endless possibilities with these concepts then you need to check out this next video which takes a look at even more insane and unusual ideas from the horror games we play.